Hey, what's shaking bacon? So I'm back with another painting video. It's acrylic and of course it's another topless lady. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get on to showing the process of it. So as always, I am using my Liquitex paint as well as my golden acrylic retarder. I freaking love this thing. It is amazing. It really helps me blend because the Liquitex paint pretty thick and it thins it out just enough and it um, gives it enough drying time that I could blend stuff in for the way that I like to paint. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't use expensive brushes because I don't take care of them so these are all like Craftsmart and Artist Loft brushes. I prefer like the plastic barrels over wooden barrels but that's just me personally. For the painting I did start with just like a layer of flat paint to help me like blend it in and so I could know like what colors are what. When I use my acrylic paint, I don't necessarily want to achieve a realistic style. I like more of that in Prestonistic style, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Because if I wanted something smooth and realistic with a lot of depth, I would use my color pencils, but I'm trying to get into more of like simple brush strokes. I really do want to try um, some realistic, hyper-realistic paintings, but with that I feel like I would prefer working in oils because of the drying time. And they are two different mediums, but since I have for familiarity with acrylics I feel like the transition should be easier. Medium does have a lot to play into with what kind of style you're using so even when you're planning out a piece you do consider the medium you're using. That's not to say that I can't achieve realism with acrylics I just feel like for me it doesn't work out because you could achieve realism with even crayons. I, I used to do that in high school, but it's all about what this medium does for you and how your style works with the medium. It's something to consider. I know that this probably sounds like really, well, I hope I'm not sounding like pretentious, like, oh, it's, it's the medium, it's the method the, the process you know but it's something you consider when creating paintings or any piece of artwork because if I wanted to do something cartoony with flat colors I would be using my markers if I wanted to do something realistic I'd be using my color pencils it, it, it just all depends on what you're trying to achieve with your piece and I, I feel like as artists, you just need to think these things out and try to think about what you're trying to convey. For this trench coat, I decided that I wanted it to be black, so I actually used a Mars black when I was mixing the colors, and I'm, I'm the type of person where I feel like black is a very strong color, so you need to know exactly what you're doing when you decide to use your black paint. So this was really, it was hectic for me. I was nerve-wracked. I wanted this piece to have that like Pulp Fiction, Dick Tracy-esque vibes of like, um, she came in with a long list of troubles and her legs were even longer than that sort of thing. I, I, I really like that style of artwork and it's just really aesthetically pleasing to me. And I love like those old pulp comic books. The, I think they just look nice and I really love that vintage era look. I, I have a lot of like vintage clothes and stuff so it's just something nice that I enjoy. I have no idea how I messed it up but like with the hips and thighs they it's muddy right here and I was like oh I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it but when you make art it is a process so step by step not every 
step is beautiful, so I was just like, eh, I gotta hang on and make sure it, I get this looking right. I moved on to the hair because if you overwork something, it could be really difficult to, um, to fix it. So if you don't like something, what I do is move on to something else. And then when I'm done with that, or even like a day later, I'll work on the part that I wasn't liking. Because maybe I was just having an off day. Maybe I just couldn't draw hips and thighs that day. Okay. So if I moved on the hair, something that I know I would be able to do, then by tomorrow I would be able to fix the mistakes I was making. Because you know sometimes you make mistakes and you just keep making them over and over and over again. Sometimes you just need to take a break, do something else, and fix it later. See what I mean when I say sometimes the process is ugly because this hair is not looking Gucci, but I feel like I managed to make it look nice. Um, just some steps are going to be ugly. And then again with the black, it was really hard to like get those highlights and blend them in because black is so harsh. And even there in like the words resting on her shoulder, I had to go in and like work at it again because it was it just wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. And then I'm really proud of the way I uh, painted that gun. Please excuse the video quality. Um, during um, the days I filmed this, all I had um, time to actually paint and draw was during the night time. So I was just like, I could either not upload a video or upload a video with some lackluster footage. So that's what I did. Also, for whatever reason, the video is like jumpy and kind of glitchy. I know, like. I do have an effect in my um, video program to glitch, but it, it, I don't know why it's doing the glitch when I was recording. I was having a hard time deciding what brush to use on like the areola and nipples because you know what they say, the nipples are like the eye of the face, and since there's no eyes here, it's like I need to make sure that I don't mess these up at all and make sure they look nice. And then just doing my little signature because I was finished with it and I forget to sign my paintings. I always do it on like my sketchbooks but never my paintings but I feel like that's the one thing you should sign because you're proud of yourself for finishing a painting. And then that is the finished painting. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm improving with my acrylics. gonna beat myself up over it. I'm gonna ask like my best friend for a critique of my realism style and all that. Oh and when you're done don't forget to wash your brushes because I just picked up more of this little brush cleaner which I absolutely love and might do a review video on it soon. So stay tuned for that and just have some close-up details of this painting. I'll let you guys listen to some music. Finishes. I do appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. I do have a Patreon if you want to have early access to my videos. My tier is starting at just $1 a month. I also have other social media platforms which of course are free. So you can follow me at Instagram at Cassie.Frass, Facebook at Cassie Frass Art, Twitter at Cassie Frassies. I'll see you later Gators.